Hey y'all, it is Tuesday the 18th and quick little reminder, I am out Thursday and Friday. I will be in a place where I'll have zero signal. They're telling me that the, sig no, the signal for the phones die at the gate and nothing on the other side of it. So, I, and that gate, I guess, is a couple miles away from the destination. I, I'm not 100% certain <laughs> where I'm going to end up. All I know is I'm in the Park City, Utah area. Got to get some, get some, my mind focused on some stuff. So there's a process that I'm be going through professionally here to try and get some things figured out. Because I mean, right now in this crazy world that we're living in, if there's anything we need, it's extreme focus. And so this is, you know, my way of coming out of COVID, trying to clear the, the mind back up to get back into this into this battle. Because it is this is trench warfare when you consider what's going on in my industry, what's going on in just in, in housing as a whole, in the economy as a whole. And if we're not taking the time to focus our mind, I mean, this is really two days out of a very long period of time that I'd be driving some extreme focus. I encourage you guys all to take time away. Get that a weekend here and there. Take a three-day weekend, wherever you need to. Get your mind right. Get ready for what you're about to attack because, man, there's – I don't – I don't know of any history in, in the in the history of at least my lifetime where there's so much coming out of some sort of directions. You know, one of the things that we keep talking about is inflation, and it can, and, and everything I keep looking at makes it look worse than 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 anybody's expecting it to be, or any numbers that are coming out there because there's so many different angles we, you can see it from. It's just not the standard type of cost going up. There's so many different elements that are at, at, at a factor here. You've got, you know, with the with you know people off on their jobs, they're getting money for nothing. They're spending indiscriminately. Part of the inflation that that you know we're we're hearing about is being shrugged off by the Fed right now. They're saying, well, it's it, we have excess demand with diminished supply, and there's a lot of catch up buying going on. So when people buy all their stuff, and they finally have the stuff that they want. There's not going to be as much demand, so it's going to bring down the inflation numbers. They, you know, that that is a philosophy. Right, that could happen. Once the demand shrinks, supply is going to get to a point where it's going to be in equilibrium, and we may see that decline in costs. This could, this may be that outcome that 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 ends up becoming. We don't know. We could also increase them, see increased inflation just because of the monetary supply is going through the roof. You know, they keep printing and printing and printing and devaluing the the instrument that we're using to buy with. Right. So when you think about that, the the fact that they're they're causing an excess. Well, look at, look at the value of anything, right? The argument for crypto is that there's only a certain amount that's being that can be mined out and that's it and it stops, right? It's the philosophy behind gold's value. There's only so much available. And if you want more, you got to dig deeper into the earth. It's, it's, it's difficult to get your hands on. Therefore, it's a higher price and a higher value. Well, when you think about the US dollar as being overwhelmingly just spread all over the place, but it's being collected by the few, you start trying to, you start seeing why, there may be another argument for extreme inflation because it's not backed by anything solid anymore. When you're off the ground, gold stand, there's nothing to back up that paper except for the implied promise of the U.S. Treasury. And right now, I mean, when you think about what they're doing, I don't know. I, I can't say that I have faith in how that's all going to play out. You know, one of the other things that we're looking at, of course, is, is housing. You know, trying to put a roof over a person's head has a certain amount of value. And right now it's being pushed, it's being pushed hard. One of the things that gives me a little bit of pause for it being something that's going to be impacted negatively, which it could, and we've never seen this particular environment and this many things coming together. Um, that being the case, um, the only thing that gives me a little pause on potential bubble and crash and all this that they're talking about, again, is the supply. We're looking today, housing starts were down, starts were down 9.5% in April, which is way weaker than expectations. Single family starts, which is, which is mostly uh, very important for what our industry is, you know, people buying houses to live in or being, buying those single families for rentals, they were down 13%. Now, the, the permits, they're looking pretty good. They're up. Because, and those are those are actually increasing, but it's kind of hard to really use those year over year numbers as something that really get a good feel for where things are headed. Because we had all that that happened last year, people not working. We actually now have a lot of people still not working because it's easier to get a paycheck from the government and go back to work. And they've learned to be able to live on that smaller amount because a lot easier just lay on the couch, right? Well, now we're seeing another. Uh, dynamic that's kind of interesting to consider that there's a lot of builders there laying concrete and then they're stopping 
right? They're stopping right at that point and they're not building the house. That is counted as a housing start. Well, if housing starts were already down and then we have a housing start and a stop, what is that doing to it? So this means that things are likely much worse than what we're seeing. So our supply numbers could be significantly impacted by this, therefore creating demand and supply issue it, it, which could also lead to to a little bit more of a stable housing market than what we, what could be but then also is pushing prices up they've got to reach they have to reach a pinnacle before they come up i don't know that it can continue at this enormous pace so it's kind of hard to say where we're going to go what i always tell everybody this is the only thing i could advise you on is look at the deal look at the deal there are so many people are so caught up in all the things. Well, the price of the house just went up. And interest rates gone up since I started. And since this is all happening, I'm going to back out. Well, go ahead. When you back out, there's somebody right in line that's going to eat at your dog dish because you're not moving forward. You've got to look at the total transaction. Is it a property that will be rented? Will it stay reasonably rented for the time that you own it? Is it a property that can cash flow? Can you raise rents? It doesn't matter what it is today. What is tomorrow? Remember that if you're so caught up with the day after closing, you're going to be looking back on saying, if only I, I would have just moved forward. It's too many people I look at that keep saying, if I only moved forward and look back at that, actually look back and closed on that deal. I've seen that way too often. So I'm going to tell you guys is you need to, uh, need to look at the deal, have your, um, your baselines in check and decide whether or not you're interested in um, really being an investor. Because if you're not, if you wanna be a consumer and just spend money and go into debt, you're a call. But in reality, if you wanna be an investor, you proceed forward in this particular market because there is going to be benefit on the other side if you've got your baselines and you're meeting those baselines and the deal is the deal. It's not about the price. It's not about the interest rate. It's, it's all about the ability to have that business cash flow. That's what that house is. It's a business. You know, work with your people, communicate. If you're a finger pointer, you're blame, blame on the market, blame, blame on the people, everything else. And you're not an investor, you know, that, which is fine. Just, again, admit to it. Say, this is not me. This is not what I want. I'd rather do this over here. That's great. I'm, there's no issue with that. But if you want to claim being a real estate investor, but you want to point the finger at everybody else's fault because you're not running it like a CEO, or you're not making decisions right, that's on you. It's not on anybody else. You're the, you're the CEO of your business. Not everybody else needs to be, it's, it's not everybody else's fault. You need to proceed the way it's, that you have set and you need to find out the data on these things. You need to decide what's important. We're here to help you and support you. We want you to be successful, but we can't drag you into it. Because if, if you're going to have an excuse for why things don't work, then you shouldn't be in it anyway. And, and that, that's a protective piece. It's not a knock on you. That's not a punch in the gut. That is, I'm protecting you for something that's just not for you. You need to find what's for you and go kick ass at that. I want to help people that want to kick ass at this because this is just where I focus. This is where my mind is. I can't help you on crypto. I can't help you on, on just the day trading. I can't help you on, on uh, commodities. I just don't know it. But I can help you on this. So I'm here to help. My team's here to help. Uh, the, you know, the people out there that are doing the real estate, the turnkey providers, they're here to help. Make sure you're ready to go play in that world. And we're here to help you get to where you want to go. I can't talk to you on Friday, so I'll talk to you on Tuesday. I might pre-record something, send something out just to keep people going. Thanks, and we'll talk to you when I'm back at this.